Hello everybody, I am now on my normal public server, well, both of them are public, but this is not Death Baron, it is the survival server, and so now people, <laughs> everyone does not have my skin right now, there's leather armor, which I handed out to everyone, and uh, on my texture pack, uh, leather armor shows up as, as my skin. <laughs> So it looked really weird, but they don't have my face. Every, you can see everyone's face, and so you know, looked really hilarious. And I just told them to wear leather armor. I didn't even tell them about this. Um, now I am going to show you how to uh, how to do this for pretty much any skin. I'm using my skin as an example. And if you set this, you can set this as any armor, not just leather. But uh, leather is not really worth anything. So you know. Um, I didn't want to give it a real texture. Well, this is Mises texture pack, by the way. Um, but I just didn't really think that texture really mattered because I never, I don't, I don't even think I've ever seen the real texture. But uh, these items are the same. Um, when I put it on, I look really like I just get bigger. <laughs> but um, the textures for the items actually are the same. But the wearing textures are totally different, and you look like uh, you look like you are any skin you want, preferably mine. Um, <laughs> but you know, whatever. The link to because you have to do a small modification, which you need a good uh, photo editor. You can't just use paint. But uh, you have to do a small mod modification, and if you can't do that, there will be one for my skin in the description and I have my normal skin back by the way it's no sand creeper this is my statue everyone's in front of my statue so there's like a thousand knees running around and stuff so you know whatever but uh, I'm going to switch over real fast to the photo editing software stuff so I will see you guys later okay, well in like two seconds bye hello guys I am back uh, currently I'm recording with uh, well, this sounds really awkward because this is in the middle of a video, but uh, I am recording with Screencast Pro because I'm a noob. I don't know how to record fra- oh my goodness, why did it zoom in? Dang it, I had that all perfect. Um, so, well, that still works, yeah, okay. So, um, this is how you go to any- this is how you edit any skin so they can be an armor file. Uh, this would work, everyone would have your face and, any and everything. But as you saw on my face, uh, everyone could, you could see everyone's face still. So uh, what you want to do is you want to open up any photo editing software. This is GIMP right now, uh, which is one of my favorites. It's free. Just look up uh, paint.net. And uh, that's where I downloaded it from. And so what you want to do is open up the eraser tool. Uh, turn it to a pretty small brush, zoom in all the way, and just erase the face away. Be pretty careful. Um, you don't want to erase too much, or else it'll look really weird. And um, you can basically see how the skin is designed. If you wanted to make it so they had their own uh, their own hair color or whatever, you can erase the hair. If you wanted to make it so they have their own arms, or I don't really care. Um, but you know that that's how it would work and so this is all registered as leather armor and well whatever arm uh, whatever armor you set it as and so what you're going to do is you're going to want to save and I don't know if you guys can see this um, file save save as uh, I put it on your desktop if I was you let's just do uh, I think this is what it has to be uh, Clause one, and so you will save it. And I think I saved it wrong. I meant to save it as a JPEG. Yeah, uh, you have to save it as a PNG or JPEG. Uh, as a PNG file, make sure you do that in your editing software. I kind of messed up, but I have one right there, anyways. And so, uh, what you want to do? Oh my goodness. Okay. So what you want to do? Sorry for the terrible recorder. It's not terrible, I mean, I guess it's good, but, um, what you want to do is go to, go to your app data, I said op, uh, go to your app data, uh, go to your dot minecraft, if you want to go on vanilla, 
then you have to do something else but right now I'm going to show right here uh, go to your texture packs whatever wow I have what the heck are all these okay uh, MC patch I know what that is but I never knew I had to you want to open up your uh, texture pack with any raw file go down to armor uh, currently mine's already set but uh, you can go right here just drag in that file press replace whatever then it'll work and it's right there and uh, it's pretty pretty awesome I think uh, I don't know exactly what this does oh these are just the pants uh, with this the boots will show up as that and the top part so it has the legs with it the, the legs will show up under the boots once you do that the actual boots from the uh, from the uh, texture pack but that's kind of confusing so I just didn't really do that I didn't think it was necessary and so next what you want to do is go back to your minecraft if this is only for if you want default texture pack go to your bin go to your uh, minecraft.jar um, open with one RAR archiver or any other RAR extractor I think that's the correct word um, open up armor go to your cloth one uh, save it right there uh, press ok and then that one is now set as your skin and uh, there will be a download if you do not have an editor for uh, for uh, that will enable you to make blank backgrounds like that like so then uh, they can see through the face and there will be a picture of mine if you want that but if you want it to be diamond armor or whatever that just rename it it's pretty simple and yeah so hope you guys like the video this is longer than I expected and it's gonna be fun to upload